Welcome to the Cascada interview. Uh, right now online, we've got Natalie from Cascada. Hello, Cascada, or Natalie, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Right, the first question I'd like to ask you, what is your real name? Piggy. No, <laughs> my name is Natalie Horner from Cascada. <laughs> Miss Piggy, huh? Yeah, no, the only reason why I ask you that question, Natalie, is because everybody over here calls you Cascada for some strange reason. I strange know. reason. Uh, they do that in America sometimes as well, but it actually is Cascada, but it doesn't matter, I don't mind. Well, you know what? I know you're not a stranger to the city because I know you've been to Cork City for a few times, actually, haven't you? Um, but I'd like to know, what do you think of the Cork people? Up to now, I've had just great reactions, like, when we've, especially when we've done the marquee before. They've always been really energetic and, and the crowd has just been amazing, so I'm really looking forward to coming back. Oh, what do you think of Cork in general? It's beautiful. I've always loved coming back. We don't always get a lot of time, free time, to sort of have a look around and stuff, but I do like coming back. It's a really nice country. Yeah, that's cool. Right, Natalie, how did you actually get into this business? Um, I started with studio work when I was at sort of late teens, really, because I wanted to get into music professionally with the singing. And um, I started doing studio jobs, and then you sort of get rec um, recommended to different producers and DJs and stuff like that. And that's how I met the producers that I'm working with today. And we ended up uh, getting on so well that we decided to do a project together, and that's, the project was called Cascada. Mm, cool. All right. Um, have you got any high points or low points in your career, Natalie? Um, well, in general, it's all been a high point, really. But you go through some stuff sometimes. Like, the first two years, I definitely had to get used to the travelling and stuff. It's, it's very strenuous and, and it goes, you know, psychologically, it can really bring you down when you're away from your family and friends so much. And uh, I definitely had to deal with that. So that was a bit of a low point. But in general, it's always a high point to be able to do the, the job that you love. You know, I've always wanted to be a singer and yeah. I, that dream has come true now. So, you know, I can't complain too much. But in general, the other low points are just so much traveling. You don't get a lot of sleep and you're very busy. You miss out on a lot of the private life stuff that goes on. But um, that's just a small price to pay, I guess. How would you describe your music, Natalie, for someone who hasn't heard you yet? It's difficult to describe, really. I always, I in general call it dance music, but what it actually is, I think, is pop music, but it's faster. Like a faster <laughs> type kind of pop music. Because the vocals, you could take any one of our songs and slow it down a bit. Yeah. And take away maybe the heavy bass, and it would be a pop song. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yes, definitely. Do you ever get time to relax, Natalie? Do you find it hard? Um, well, I have, normally I have a few days during the week I have off when I'm at home. Try and relax then, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not a big one for relaxing anyway. For me, just having time off is just great for me anyway, so I just try and do as much as possible in my private time. Do you put your feet up and watch a bit of TV from time to time? Yeah, I do, I do that as well, but I, I'm quite active normally. Like, I, I need to go out and meet my friends, I like to go clubbing, that make that chill. That is for me, just chilling out, is going out with mates, having a few drinks, and going and going a bit wild, you know, I need that. <laughs> so, the words you're actually looking for, Natalie, is go out and be normal. Exactly. <laughs> I need that. God, I need to see my friends and family and just come back come back off my job, you know, and just forget about it for a few days. What kind of music do you listen to in your car? In my car? Yeah. Um, I'm listening to Justin Nazuka at the moment. He's mm. a fairly newcomer. Yeah, I know. And um, he's quite cool. He's a sort of chill-out, bluesy uh, stuff. Otherwise, your normal chart stuff, really. I love Rihanna, Amy Winehouse. You know, people just in. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> we all love them kind of people, yeah. <laughs> have you got any favourite DJs or producers? Um, Anyone have I'm not really, really big into the producer thing. I'm not, I don't really know my way about that very well, but I... DJs, I'm a very big fan of Carl Cox. I think he's absolutely amazing DJ. And um, a lot of the whole, you know, like Loka Dice and all those, the sort of the minimal electro DJs, I really like them. Uh, all right, yeah, so you like your heavy stuff? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's a question I like to ask always. Um, networking sites like Facebook, MySpace, do you check them yourself or do you get someone to check them for you? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm always very honest about this. Um, MySpace is absolutely impossible for me to... to organize that on my own you know I do you know have a look and I have a read and things like that but the whole adding and this and that 
is done by someone else. But we have about 4,000 um, friends being added uh, in every week. Like, that is absolutely impossible for me to, to do or organise myself at all. So, you know, that's definitely not possible. But when it comes to the, to the guest book and, and in, on the website and stuff like that, that is definitely something, dimensions that I can handle myself. So I do go on there and, and write stuff back and I do have a read and, and, and see what people are saying, absolutely. Um, right, the time is actually coming very close for you to be playing back in Cork. So you're getting kind of excited about it, playing in the marquee? Oh, I'm really looking forward to it. As I said before, I always love coming back. It's a great place and up to now the reactions, especially at the marquee have been really good so it's, it's always such a fun night. Yeah and I must admit there is a nice cool lineup um, for Clublands in the marquee this year isn't there? Absolutely yeah I mean we did the Clubland show a few months ago and, and everyone's just really talented and, and I think everyone will have a great a great time at the concert. Natalie from uh, Cascada, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much, OK? And I really do wish you the best of luck. You're a really cool person, all right? All right, you, thanks a lot. I'll see you in Cork. Yeah, see ya. This has been a Funky Voiceovers dot com promotion for Aiken Promotions. Dot I-E.